So as we all know, South Africa has a history of uh, apartheid, racism, and just like how we associate Nazism with Germany and German G German somehow, and which I don't support that they should, but we know that there is some sort of some form of guilt that modern Germans carry that as well, and sometimes they, they go too far to compensate that, uh, which again, as a, I think every person is responsible for it for their own actions, but again, they need to be just just use a little bit of brain. South Africa has a history of apartheid. Uh, ICC, which is International Cricket Council, gave a directive to every playing cricket board, India, Pakistan, whatever this cricket world cup taking place, that, okay, in favor or in support of BLM, we recommend that you take the knee. Bend the knee, John John uh, John Snow said in, uh, no, Khaleesi told John John Snow in Game of Thrones. I don't know if you ever watched that, but anyway, so, so a lot of players bent their knee. But wait, wait, one... the Pakistanis would never bend their knee, though, right? They only bend to Allah. So they, they, what did they do? They did, they put their hand on their heart, right? Good pick, good pick. So Pakistan is again, and again because it's Islam, nobody touches that. It's like, all right, but again, it's the thought, it's the thought that counts. So it's not the bend the knee. So Pakistanis were like, they put their hands on the heart. Again, good gesture, thank you. So. Um, uh, everyone else bent the knee yesterday. I watched Australia versus your team, England. And... Oh, did you? Well, we can talk about what happened there if you want later. <laughs> no, no need to talk about it. I'm on Pakistan side. I don't care about Australia. <laughs> oh, Jump convenience, shit. convenience. All right. I see how it is. When Australia is winning and Pakistan is losing, I'm like, yeah, I'm on Australia's side. So anyway, so... so so he, Quinton de Kock, a South African player, refused to bend the knee. His captain is standing there in the background. He is, a, uh, he's obviously a black South African. He's the captain. Everyone else bent the knee, but Quinton de Kock refused to bend the knee. And as a result, he was sacked uh, or dropped from the national cricket team. Now, opinion is divided. A lot of people are like, yeah, well, it's dragging politics into sports. Uh, people should have a decision. People should be free to, you know, ha express their opinion or don't say anything at all. In this case, not saying it is equivalent to supporting racism, especially coming from a country. Again, Quinton de Kock is a young man, probably 24, 25, not responsible, probably born after the apartheid era, but he has a responsibility. And, and I, again, I'm just putting it out there. I reckon he might have some, I'm not claiming that he's racist. But I'm saying he might have, there's still some people around, the grandparents, even the parents would be alive who were born and are kicking in, and they probably exploited the uh, apartheid situation. They might have been there. So he might have had some sort of sympathy towards that. In, if I ask you, Nuria, if I ask you or anyone else, I say, forget about BLM and the origins, and if you have these problems of, you know, it's been shoved down our throats. Yeah. If I ask you, should racism... Is racism a good thing or a bad thing? I'm sure. Categorically think... bad. Exactly. That is exactly what bending the knee signifies, right? That is exact. So, again, you don't have to make, make a speech. You don't have to say, you know, George Floyd had this problem or that problem or whatever. All you have to say is me taking the knee is signifying that I am against racism. Typical answer we get from these conservatives, and this is why I say all these conservatives act the same way, whether in India or in Pakistan or in the Western world, they all behave the same way. They're ritualistic. They always have shaky freaking rationales behind it. Everything, they act in a similar manner. It's like typical answer we hear from them. Oh, or Black Lives Matter. All lives matter. It's like, right. It's like, um, you know, I say to you, women should not be raped. Ah, no men should be raped too. It's not about that. When you identify a problem, you drill down on that, on the specifics of that problem. There is no such thing as white racism at this point. And again, in South Africa, actually, there have been some cases, and I've actually spoken about that. So white farmers being killed because, you know, there's a reverse apartheid going on. And, and we will talk about that, but in a separate setting. Black Lives Matter. Yes, you want to talk about, okay, how many whites are being killed by gun violence of African-Americans? Surely we can talk about that too. But this one is in the context of state people dying at the hands of 
state. Systematic racism. Um, if you want to talk about gun violence in America, gang warfare, sure, talk about that too. Come up with a new slogan. It's like, uh, it was say no to black crime. Just say that. But that would be a different one. Imagine someone says, oh, say no to black crime. Oh, you know, like I'm against all types of crime. No, we're talking about black crime. We're talking about black racism against blacks at this point. So that's, um, it's not going too much. It's not asking for too much. I think Quentin de Kock should have bent the knee. But the funny thing is, and that this, this is the crux of the argument, let's wrap it up. I remember in Australia, there are a lot of anti-vaxxers before this COVID vaccination thing, yeah? And, uh, you know, this anti-vaccination thing has been going on for quite some time. And in Australia, they were like, uh, ah, I'm not going to give these 264 vaccines to my kids. I don't care. Measles and chicken pox can come back. I don't care. I'm not going to. My, 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 my baby, my choice. <laughs> so they said that. So Australian government like, okay, your baby, your choice. Our money, our choice. We're not going to pay you. We're not going to give you the welfare checks. So all of a sudden, they threw all their principles away. They're like, nah, okay, nah, here, here's my baby. Jab him, whichever jab you want to give him. But just don't stop my welfare check. So all the principles are gone. Just like that, Quinton de Kock, for whatever reason. Again, I might be getting too harsh on Quinton. And if, if this ever goes viral, if it ever reaches to him, I'm sorry, you're a young guy. I like your cricket. And I really am a big fan. But I'm, I'm talking about this view that people say that black lives matter all lives matter i'm talking about that kind of worldview so and, and those people now say well why don't you want to get the covid vaccination vaccine ah uh, because millions of people around the world billions of people around the world now have had at least one jab and look we're fine we're not dying i've had both you have you had both so many other people in my family they've all had both jab nobody died no side effects no nothing so now they can't say that oh you die if you get the covid vaccination so they say, ah, they're running out of excuses. Ah, but it's my choice. Ah, I don't want to get it. It's my choice. Why? Well, I just want to get it. That's the reason now they're pulling. So just like that, Quentin de Kock tried, or people like that tried, uh, I'm asking you a straightforward question. Do black lives matter or they don't? Just say yes or no. Yes, I get it. Every, every other life matters too. But does that matter or not? And th in this particular case, we're asking you to bend the knee. And it's like, nah, it's my choice. Ah, I'm sorry. That's... The same excuse he used. So when that happened, they said, sorry, we're going to drop you. And they dropped him. All of a sudden, <laughs> he bent the knee. <laughs> like Jon Snow, he bent the knee. But at least Jon Snow got Khaleesi in the end. And that's why he bent the knee. But here, Quinton de Kock kept his cricket contract. So my point is, these principles go out the window of these people. And they sometimes they have to be forced into that. A lot of people are saying, well, you shouldn't be forcing them. But I reckon on a, this is not a political issue. This is a social human rights issue. If I ask you, should, is racism a good thing or a bad thing? Any decent person would say good thing. Quinton de Kock would say the same. Oh, sorry, bad thing. Quinton de Kock would also say the same thing. But then just act on it too. Um, do you want to add something to it? Yeah, look, um, well, I, well, I understand, like, obviously people are saying this is like a political issue. I really don't think at the crux it is. If this is like... Yes, you're there to play cricket. Yes, the ICC has said that this is something to be done because we know that BLM is, is an actual real movement. It's a, it's, there's a problem here that we are shedding light on and we're putting the spotlight on it. So it needs to be, it needs to be talked about. And yeah, you can bring in all lives matter. Of course, all lives matter. All we're saying here is that, yes, like there is a situation and to shed light on it, everybody's asked to do the same thing, which in this instance was to bend the knee. Um, I'd be really interested, by the way, to see if he's made a comment as to why he didn't initially bend the knee, because I just want to know his own rationale for not doing that. But I don't think this is this is inherently political. This is just as you as you gave the the not all women want to be raped and oh, nobody wants to be raped kind of argument. It's the same thing. This is just what you do, even when you're talking as a feminist, for example, we talk about certain issues. It doesn't mean that you know, men's issues don't matter. It doesn't mean that like, if we talk about feminist mental health and that being an issue, it doesn't mean that men's mental health doesn't matter. It's just, this is an issue that we're trying to talk about. And I understand there's nuances to this and there's gonna be a lot of people that disagree. And some people will argue that um, the BLM movement has been hijacked to a certain extent and it's kind of got out of control. Um, but I definitely do think that this is a simple stance to say, look, 
do you agree or not agree with racism at its very core? If you don't agree that racism is good, bend the knee. And I, I really, coming from a country that was suffered through apartheid, um, I know he's young, but I mean, he would have lived experiences within his own family of them living through apartheid. So it really is baffling to me that he didn't bend the knee. And I, I don't think this needs to be that tied into uh, into making a political statement or whatnot. Like maybe some people will argue, yes, because he got sacked. It's almost like that the choice element was taken out of it. And it's not it's not a free and fair choice anymore. Um, but then again, that's what I'm saying. I'd just like to I'd really be interested in knowing what his reason for not taking bending the knee or whatever you want to call it was um okay so so let's just read his uh version as well so this is what it says i would like to start by saying sorry to my teammates and the fans back home i never ever wanted to make this a quinton issue i understand the importance of standing against racism and i also understand the responsibility of us as players to set an example if me taking a knee helps to educate others and makes the lives of others better i'm happy to to do so. That's good. But that again, that came out afterwards, after he was dropped. In the statement, de Kock explained the matters relating to race and particularly important to him as he, come, my, my, uh, as he comes from a mixed race family. My half-sisters are colored and my stepmom is black. For me, black lives have mattered since I was born, not just because there was an international movement, okay? However, here comes a however, he felt that his rights were taken away by Cricket South Africa's decision to order players to take the knee. So it's just a matter of, because that's the principle he was taking. He's saying, my rights are being taken. Since I chat with the board last night, which was very emotional, I think we all have a better understanding of their intentions as well. I, I wish this had happened sooner because what happened to on match day could have been avoided. He continued, I didn't understand why I had to prove it with a gesture. When I live and learn and love people from all walks of life every day, when you're told what to do with no decision, I felt that. Uh, it takes away the meaning. If I was racist, I could easily have taken the knee and lied, which is wrong. And doesn't. So anyway, so again, just going back into what he's turning it into, my rights are being taken away. And maybe again, as I said, he's young. People get very divided. And we, we live in this polarized world where we see all these people say, oh, oh, don't get the jab. Government is forcing you to get the jab. You You should be able to say no to them. So then that gives rise to a different way of thinking. And like people, it just, it just fans the flames of rebellion in a way. No. <laughs> yeah. But also, sorry, just based on what you just read to me, because this is the first time I've heard, I've read or seen his comment. Um, it also seems like he was trying to say, I don't need to get to bend the knee to prove that I'm not racist. Like a gesture isn't indicative of my stance. Like my family is interracial in itself. Like I like, as in he doesn't need to prove that, um, which again is is a is a fair point from where he's coming from and his upbringing and his own family. But it just again, why would you not be on that side then? If people are promoting that, it's like it's a weird thing to have defiance for something you strongly believe in. You know, like that that to me is weird. Yeah, exactly. And 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 this is why I'm saying that um, he's young and the 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 discourse is so polluted that people don't understand and and I think he probably didn't understand the gravity of this he he's like okay well I'm not racist so I don't have to prove to anyone that I'm not racist by taking the knee no it's about solidarity I mean we we take this and again as I said and and you know now he he would have avoided all of this these questions and even I thought for a moment like oh is he you know what's going on um, he would have avoided all of that had he just simply taken the knee. It's, it's, it's just a gesture. How uh, how do I feel like my rights are being taken away? And if I just simply make a statement or show a gesture that racism is bad. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head when you said solidarity. That's all he had to do was just show solidarity. And in, in, in the defiance for that solidarity to prove that you are not racist because you're inherently, you feel that you aren't inside, it's just weird because it's almost like you're being a rebel without a cause here if you're on the same side. Do you know what I mean? It is literally a sh it is just a show of solidarity. Every other team is doing the exact same thing. You coming from a country which has a history that, you know, of, of apartheid. I mean, fundamentally, if anyone should be at the forefront of this, it should be you. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.